My guest today says that Republicans are setting themselves up to take the fall for the next recession, even with tax cuts. Joining me today is Peter Schiff, CEO of Euro Pacific Capital. Peter, uh, good to have you back on with us. Well, thanks for having me on. So, Peter, why the certainty? Why is a recession inevitable here for you? Well, I mean, recessions have been happening for quite some time, and uh, you know, the next one is long overdue. And I do think that the enthusiasm surrounding uh, the tax cuts and the gains in the market uh, could well extend uh, the, the period between now and the next recession. But I don't think it will extend it long enough for Trump to be reelected. I think we're going to be dealing with this recession during his term in office. And I think that the Democrats are going to blame it on the tax cuts. Now, the tax cuts are not going to be the cause. Uh, the recession was going to happen with or without the cuts, but they've certainly uh, uh, set themselves up to be blamed for the recession, especially since they've made so many promises, right? All the great things that are going to happen as a result of these tax cuts that they've already taken credit for. Uh, so I think that, uh, unfortunately, uh, they are have made a bed that they're going to have to lie in. So with U.S. equities at all-time highs here, uh, Peter, how do you think 2018 is going to start out? Well, you know, it may start out on the same note, but I, you know, I would imagine that we're going to see a buy the rumor, sell the fact, uh, some kind of reversal. You know, the dollar has been very weak so far in 2017, despite all of the enthusiasm for the dollar uh, that we enjoyed or that traders enjoyed at the beginning of the year. I think the dollar's woes are going to continue in 2018. I also see that commodity strength is really building, uh, and I think you're going to continue to see that. You know, I think it was last week. We saw producer prices up 3.1% year over year. Mm -hmm. That is a six-year high. I expect prices to continue to rise uh, for both producers and consumers. So accelerating inflation, a weaker dollar, ultimately a weaker economy, that should take its toll on stocks. Also rising interest rates. Interest rates are rising. They're rising slowly now, but I think the pace is going to pick up. And increasing interest rates are also going to exert downward pressure on the economy, perhaps more downward pressure than whatever upward pressure we get from the tax cuts. And, and Peter, you also brought up another point, um, China, and how they may want to dethrone the dollar and could take a step in that direction before year end, uh, which I saw you said might prove to be the nightmare before Christmas. How so? Well, I don't know about anything happening before year end. I mean, I think China has uh, been positioning itself for, you know, ultimately when the dollar is no longer the reserve currency. And, you know, that process has been going on. It's ongoing and it will continue. And it's not just China. I mean, I think a lot of the world is trying to move away from the dollar. Uh, you know, one reason being that we've weaponized the dollar. I mean, the United States takes advantage of the dollar's role uh, to sanction uh, countries that do things that it doesn't like. And I think that a lot of countries would like to take that power away from the United States. But of course, you know, the dollar being the reserve currency is, I think, the source of a lot of the global economic instability and all of the uh, malinvestments and misallocations of resources because the United States consumes too much, borrows too much, produces too little, saves too little. And all of this can be uh, traced to the dollar's role as a reserve currency. So I think ultimately when the dollar loses uh, that privilege and Americans have to produce to consume and have to save to borrow, that will do a lot to addressing a lot of these uh, global economic imbalances and deflate a lot of the bubbles uh, that central banks have been inflating.